Hi guys, back again with another video for you today. Today we're going to do a how-to and we're going to cover how to apply dubbin to your uh, boots. So these will be applicable to these rough out style boots that we have here. We've got a pair of the M43 buckle boots and the season is over now so I figured that would be a good time to apply a new layer of dubbin to my boots uh, to, for ready for the next year and uh, whilst I'm doing that I might as well show you guys how to do it. Now this is something that a lot of newcomers to the reenactment scene or living history or whatever you want to call it, they neglect. So when you buy these boots, they come untreated, they are very lightly coloured and they have no waterproofing or anything at all. Um, that's not how they would have used them. They would have treated their boots with dubbin. They would have put quite a lot on, multiple layers, that will make the essentially have waterproof boots it changes the colour of the boot quite a lot as well so uh, that's something you really want to do if you want to have your impression look right so we'll quickly go over that today you'll need uh, just a few things you'll have yourself an old toothbrush preferably one that's quite stiff obviously some dubbin this is just modern dubbin out of a local shoe shop you can find period stuff if you really want to but it doesn't really make any difference probably want some kitchen roll on hand and a couple of lint free cloths. I have one that I keep just for doing this which is basically completely impregnated with dubbin now. This is a dirty job so make sure you can make a mess where you're going to do it. So I'll uh, whip the laces out of one of these boots and then I'll get to showing you how to apply it. Right guys, put the camera down a bit for you so you can hopefully see everything. Right this is pretty simple to do really. Some people like to heat the dubbin up first, but I don't find it's necessary the stuff I use. So get your laces out, you want to make sure your boot is pretty clean, especially down the seams at the bottom here, just make sure it's not full of mud and dirt. It doesn't matter if it isn't pristine, it doesn't really make any difference. So what I like to do to start with, just get your rag, just push it in. This, bit, this stuff is sort of like grease. Don't be worried about putting too much on, you want to really cake it on. Right this is a bit of a take two, I couldn't get a very good angle on the piece I was doing. So uh, I like to start with the middle section, I've already done that here because I couldn't get a good angle on the camera so I'll show you on the outside. So just get your lint free, good old blob on there, don't worry about putting too much of it on. And then just work it in you can't have too much of this on there really. You'll see straight away that that will darken down. These boots have already been treated probably five times so they're already pretty dark but if you have a new pair of boots then the colour will change massively from what they come out of the box like. So you want to make sure the whole thing is well massaged in. And that's how you do the flat sections. And you use your toothbrush, just get yourself a nice glue on there. And that's how you're going to get into your seams, because it's really important that the seams have the dubbin really packed into them, massaged into them, all where the sewing is, you want to get it into the threads, because if you're going to have a leak into your, into your boot, then that's probably where it's going to come from. And so you don't have to be gentle with it, just rub it in. And also one of the other big bits to do is down here, at the base of your boot, you really want to make sure you've managed to scrub that in because that's a bit that would be easy to miss it with. And you see this is making a right mess, but none of that matters. That'll all be cleaned up when you're finished. So you get plenty of it in there. And rub it all the way around. Right, so I've just been around the whole boot and just use the toothbrush to go into all of the seams and all of where all the sewing is on it. 
So you can see that looks a right mess at the moment. But I just want to point out again that you can't overdo it because now that that's all on there like that, I just take my rag, all this excess, will just get moved over the rest of the boot. You can't put too much dubbing on. That will all seep into the leather over time. And when you've got a new pair of boots, you want to do this probably two or three times before you use them, really. You can see this isn't taking me long at all now that the boot is covered from all the excess. I mean, that'll take longer to do your first one because you need to make sure every little bit has got a nice thick coat into it. But when you apply it as heavily as I just did with that brush, then that really isn't an issue. You're going to have tons and tons of it laying around. Just work your cloth into the bottom like this. Just use your finger just to poke it in. You normally will end up with a build up of it under here at the bottom of the boot. It doesn't matter. This isn't something where you need to make a big thing about being gentle or being perfect as long as it covers everything. So this boot has now had a good covering of it, of the dubbing. And now what I recommend you do is leave that for about a day, let that seep in a bit, and then you can come back and give it another wipe over with your cloth. If you keep, keep one of these, like I say, that's just absolutely covered in it, just use the same cloth every time. Then you can just wipe it in and that will absorb it straight into the boot. And that is one boot with a fresh coat of dubbing in it. So I'll get the one that hasn't been done and you'll be able to see the difference. Right, here we are. So you can see the boot that hasn't been dubbed for about a year now, that's been worn, used in the dirt. You can see that's much duller than the one that's been freshly done. The shine will stay on it for a while, but basically the first time you put these on and wear them outside, this will become like this almost instantly. They, the, the like suede, rough out leather marks up pretty much instantly it won't seem to get touched anything you go walking around in a woodland or anything any stick that scratches across that it's just going to mark it so um don't get upset or worried if your boots start showing marks straight away that's how they would have been there's no way to keep them nice and shiny and clean like this unless you literally are doing dubbing every time you take them out but there you go you can see the difference that a fresh coat makes and that's important that you do this probably once a year, so I think that's a good idea to do it at the end of the season. But definitely do it when you get a new pair of boots. Do it two or three times. Give it a nice thick coat, let it sink in, give it a couple of days, bring it back, do it again. Maybe do that three times. You'll end up with a nice looking dark pair of boots. They should be as good as waterproof for you. And they'll be much more authentic on displays. Not a lot looks worse then going around with a pair of untreated rough out boots. That's just a bad look for you. So there you have it, one pair of buckle boots completely dubbed up and laced back up. Hopefully this video hasn't come out ridiculously shaky. If it has, I will have to redo it. And there you go. You see they're looking nice and shiny. All of that excess has simply gone into the leather. So you don't need, to, like I say, don't worry about making a mess whilst you're doing it. Just slap the dubbing on, rub it in with your toothbrush, then go over it with your cloth, 
and you'll be good to go. Do it a couple of times and your boots will be looking just smart, ready for the dis displays. So a couple of things to quickly go over. When you put the laces back in, you probably have dubbing all in the holes for the laces. Don't worry about that. Don't matter if it gets on the laces. If you've got leather laces, I'd say give them a coat of dubbing themselves anyway. The leather tops of the buckles like this, you can do them. It doesn't make a huge amount of difference. It's probably worth giving them a coat, but I wouldn't bother giving it a coat on the normal leather every single time you go over the boots again. It doesn't make a lot of difference to that. Pay particular attention to the front down here. You really want to cake it in. If you're going to have water get in, this is one of the main entr entrances for it. It will be just under the laces here at the seam. So make sure that gets really caked in Dublin. But apart from that, you'll be good to go. Uh, hopefully this video hasn't come out too shaky. If it has, I'll redo it for you. So um, hopefully that will help you and I'll see you again next time.